How do you know if the spark plug is really the problem with your lawnmower and why it's not running? I don't want to just start replacing parts because that can get expensive. The lawnmower will not start. We'll verify if it's a spark plug or not. Typically, it's not a spark plug, but this time it actually is, and it'll be very clear that it is. We'll remove the spark plug with a spark plug wrench. Here's the spark plug. It looks pretty normal. And if we look at the insulation, there's no cracks. Everything looks just fine. The spark plug tester. This will test if the coil inside is any good. Spinning this tester, you can see this will adjust the gap in the spark plug tester. You can spin the gap in pretty close and try it, and then spin it out to see how far that spark will get. You can adjust the gap so it's a real small space, and if you see a spark at all, then you can keep adjusting it out to see how far the spark will jump. Put this into the tester into the boot where the spark plug would normally go and snap it in place. Attach this clip right here to a bolt so it's got a nice good ground. You can crank the mower over and see if you have any spark in here. Give it a pull and see if there's a spark. Absolutely a spark. As it really seems like it's the spark plug. We're gonna put the spark plug back in and see if there's a spark at the spark plug itself. Move the tester and put the spark plug in place. Make sure the spark plug is well grounded on a piece of metal. Spark plug will give it a pull. I see nothing. We'll get Another closer. Pull. No spark at all. We'll put in a new spark plug. Start the spark plug by hand to make sure the thread's going nice and smooth. Tighten it up with a wrench so there's good compression. Put the ignition wire on and snap it. Give it a pull to test everything. We were able to verify that the spark plug was the problem.